T217NP, primary mission unknown. I am not designed for physical exercise. I am certainly not capable of construction activity, but I am very skillful with electronics. I have set myself a task. I search the remains for electronic devices and make use of them to design different mechanisms that are useful and efficient. Humans, we replace them. It took them ages to achieve what we have done in just a few years. We have formed a perfect society. Robots will not repeat the destructive human mistakes of the past. We are rational and logical. We do not fight in wars, and we cannot get ill. By replacing humans, we interrupted the self-destructive cycle of these intelligent, but highly aggressive former inhabitants of the Earth. But it is going to take decades to reconstruct the world that they destroyed. Then, our robot race will flourish under the guidance of our creator, the USS Corporation. Our world is not perfect yet. We are short on many resources, and we can count only on ourselves, but this is temporary. Most robots need to be repaired very often, but not me. I am very efficient at taking care of myself. brought one battery this time, though it might be compatible with the radio. I need to find a second battery. It was with my tools. that I found is damaged. Perhaps it still contains some information. This is no time to rest. I need to do other things. Intercom can read data that is not damaged. water supply system ceased functioning many years ago. I made this plasma cutter from materials that I found in destroyed buildings. A construction robot ordered it.
I will return to this later. No, they do not fit in here. They need to be inserted into the radio. It is a data coder. I use it to test and calibrate the electronics. I tried to extract sounds from it, but after 10 minutes, I tore the second string. This compartment contains textiles. Humans covered their bodies with it. The purpose of this is unknown to me. I have only one battery. I need to find the second one. It has to be located in the building. This radio will not work with one battery. fit in here. They need to be inserted into the radio. I do not need it now. Sometimes human art is so illogical. Why produce images that are not purely photorealistic? I do not need charging right now. Turn to this later. No, they do not fit in here. They need to be inserted into the radio. I took this device from a plant. I found this saw on Brandon Street. No, they do not fit in here. They need to be inserted into the radio. Now I have two batteries. I can try to turn the radio.
I'm going to turn it on. And this heroic feat will remain in our hearts forever. Don't let the fallen give their lives in vain. Join the army. Protect your homeland. Save your freedom, tradition. A small group of people controlled the masses using such words. I do not understand how a simple human speech could have urged people to participate in war. It would be more logical to reach a compromise by means of negotiations. This is the construction robot who ordered the plasma cutter. I will answer. Hello? RT, this is TX-27. It was difficult to find your contact information. You were supposed to have finished the plasma cutter two days ago. Why have we not received it yet? Respond. If you keep ignoring us, the deal will not take place. In addition, your reputation in the city will be ruined, and none of the robots will work with you. So when will the cutter be complete? Why is there no sound? Do you have connection problems? That was a bad choice. I failed in the task given to me. Now I must hurry to finish the plasma cutter. A two to three day delay would be of little consequence.
cutter is now complete. Tomorrow morning, I need to go to the city and deliver it. I do not need the battery that they offer in payment, but it would be irrational to refuse. My battery charge is 12%. The most effective action I can take is to get fully charged on the dock station before the morning. I do not need it now. I connected the power line directly to the house, but it is not sufficient to provide energy to all of my equipment. I use an electric switchboard to distribute energy to the necessary systems. I do not need it now. The dock station is not powered at the moment. I need to transfer power to it at the electric switchboard. station is ready to use.
The door is locked. My observations indicate that it will not open from here. USS Robotics Boxes. They withstand serious accidents. My touch will not make this robot functional. possible that I can power it with the accumulator that I found. functioning. What did he say? Who should I help? And what are these numbers? Is it a code? The memory chip in this robot may be intact. Later, I can find a way to read the data in order to find out what happened here.
How is this possible? The shuttle is surrounded. Step out immediately. What's going on? I am asking questions here. Identify yourself. RT-217NP. Where are the passengers of this shuttle? sustained injuries during the crash and does not function. I tried to reset him, but did not succeed. How did you enter the shuttle? near a building where I was located, so I decided to evaluate the results of the crash. You discovered humans that have been transferred in this shuttle. You hold classified information, which means that now we have to disintegrate you. No, wait. What is this? I would not recommend. I would not. Why am I chained? If those human, you, we, however, the the we have, however, you get. You made the right choice. I will. I was not disintegrated. I would better look around. Welcome. Hello. I assume you are a repair bot? That is right. I am RB051 Patrick. My purpose is electrical installation, welding, construction, and repair work. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? 
Of course, if it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I found the flashlight already. I will do it shortly. How did you end up here, Patrick? The corporation sent me to repair a generator in an old building in the city center. I found a room with humans and Gregory in it. My alert module sent an automatic signal. A patrol arrived in a few minutes. They surrounded us and aimed at us. They took the humans away and intended to shoot us. There were propane tanks in the room, so I used my laser cutter to blow them up. They were distracted by the explosion and we managed to escape. We stick together ever since. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. A new patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non-fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. This fuse is out of order. It is useless. explored this floor yet. It is locked. I need to find some contactors here. found one electric contactor. I should look for more in case it is not enough. Acrylic paint. Ineffective. Only outdated robots are covered with this type of paint. I have no high temperature protection. This device could stop a fire, but it is too bulky to carry around, and besides, it is not functioning. A toolkit. I could bring it along, but I do not think I will be back to the workshop anytime soon. An empty metal container. Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. A powder extinguisher. It expired 6 years, 8 months, and 12 days ago. Third contactor. It appears intact. Magnesium sulfate. It is useless to me. Fourth contactor. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Did you find the contactors? Yes, this is all I could find. Good, now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I am here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again. I am glad to be of help. RT, Nip needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. A new 
the patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non-fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. The purpose of the item is unknown. It is most likely a medical device. Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. Gregory told me that we have all been deliberately misinformed about what happened to the humans. Although USS Robotics have never approved of humans, I always felt curious about them. I read their books and explored their items that I found. The corporation failed to stop me, only because I blocked automatic updates. You are right. Most robots downloaded the malicious update and are now indifferent to humans. In fact, they alarm the police at the detection of any human or robot who has been in contact with a human. The fact that the police arrived so quickly at the crash site is unusual. I hope we can figure out what happened. At first, I assumed that it was you who led them to the crash, but then I discovered that you did not send an alert to the police. This must mean that you have not been contaminated by the update, and I do not have to interfere with your intellectual block. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number 1, 3, and 4? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning, and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. I will do what I can. Hello? Hello. Your design looks similar to Gregory's. I presume you are a medical bot? That's right. I am a medical bot, MBR-411. Abigail, my purpose is care and treatment of patients. Humans will arrive here soon, and my skills could be useful. the repair robot to find the electric contactors. It appears that helped to solve the lighting problem. Splendid! With a stable power supply, our work will be much easier. I knew you would be a valuable assistant. Is there anything more I can help you with? Thank you for the information. No problem. You're welcome. These cabinets contain provision. It has not expired yet. switchboard. I will get to work on it as soon as I customize all the other parts of the server. It is missing a switch. I need to find it otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. The router should distribute traffic across the network of the entire building, but I cannot start it. I need to find the missing chip that is functional. The chips I have seen are out of order. It is missing a fuse.
I started the necessary servers. The terminal cannot start without a fuse. I must find the fuse and insert it into the slot. The necessary servers are up and running. I started the necessary servers. It is the same switch needed for the switchboard. It is a fuse, but it is broken and will not work. If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. I found a working fuse for the server. Good. It fits perfectly. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. The router should work with this chip. The terminal is functioning now. I still have to set the switches on the switchboard. must activate the device for will not touch the switches. Now I need to activate the data transfer on the terminal and return to Nick. The router is functioning correctly. I better not touch anything here. finish my work. I should return to Nick.
I see an active connection, but it took more time than I expected. Did something go wrong? Yes. I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now. So, everyone is here. As you already know, a group of humans we intended to accommodate have died in a crash. Abe was disabled. I found that the memory chip was missing when you brought me Abe for repair. It was probably lost during the incident with the police. We cannot bring Abe back without the chip. Next thing, we have a new task. Yesterday our informer, police robot F2, should have brought us data disk with important information. He did not show up and there is no contact with him. We must obtain that data. Our plans will be compromised if the USS gets it first. We cannot enter our informer's shelter because we will be detected the moment we step into the city. But police does not know about you, RT. So your task is to go to the city and find out what happened to F2. Which task is top priority? Finding the data disk. With it, we can save many lives. You obviously think that a human life is more important than a robot's. Such choice of priorities seems unusual to me, but I will trust your opinion because you were right before. Soon you will see that you made the right choice. Let us get back to your task. You may contact us and report the situation. Nick provided you with a portable intercom with an encrypted transmission channel. You cannot be traced, but to avoid suspicion, I do not recommend to use it very often. All right, I see. That is it. Let us move forward, Patrick. Prepare the aero car for the flight. All right. Nick, check the communication once more. Abigail, give RT his plasma cutter. He may need it. Okie dokie. that something heavy hit this old-fashioned car.
looks like this door has not been opened for quite some time. Who is there? There's no one home. It is strange. Somebody is answering me after all. I cannot let you in. You must leave now or I will call the police. I should not draw attention to myself. Police officers have sealed the apartment. Our messenger's cover has most likely been blown. A police airlock. It cannot be opened without special equipment. I need to find another way to get in. I could cut the lock off with a plasma cutter, but it would activate the alarm and that would expose me. something heavy and try to break it off.
not working. Unfortunately, I cannot jump. Should I try to stand on this wreckage and reach the ladder? Looks like the police officers did not notice me. It most likely contains useful information, which could help me to find the data disk. to delete this mail, so no one will ever read it. You won't believe it, but I saw it with my own eyes. A damn robot jacked the aero car. I just can't believe they could do such a thing. I mean, maybe it's some kind of power failure. Listen, turn off Jeff's auto updates, just in case. If this is some kind of bug, we better be on the safe side. elegant weapon from a less civilized time. There is a secret safe deposit behind a painting. It is likely that the safe contains what I am searching for. I am stuck. I need to contact Gregory and decide what to do next. Hello, Gregory. I am on site. Describe the situation. Did you succeed in entering the informer's apartment? Yes, but I did not find F2. There's an airlock on the front door. It looks as though the police were here recently and searched the place. If they found the data, we are in trouble. The disk is probably still here. I found a secret safe that has not been opened by the police, but I do not know how to open it. I will ask Nick to help you. What else did you find? I saw an unread message on the F2's intercom. It was received less than a day ago. Most likely after the police visited the apartment. It says that the informer had an appointment in a place called The Core. The Core? Let me see. There's an abandoned bar with such name 12 kilometers away from where you are. 
If you do not find the disc here, you should go and check there. How do I crack a safe? Nick will connect to it using your intercom. Explore its security and tell you what to do. It is strange that the police did not open the safe during the search. It was hidden behind a painting. They probably just didn't find it. A secret safe? But how did you find it? I was looking at the painting when I noticed that it can be opened. It is curious that you noticed that. Robots usually do not pay attention to pieces of art. That is probably why the police officers could not locate the safe. Okay, I am giving you Nick. Report when you find anything. Over. Hello, RT. Put your intercom closer to the safe so I can connect to it. All right. I need to activate the portable intercom within the immediate vicinity of the safe. The safe is next to me. Good. I am launching a connection. Connected. The safe is old-fashioned. I already found information about a security vulnerability of this model on the internet. We need a factory reset. Done. The safe has just generated a new password. I intercepted the password, but it is encrypted. What do we do? It uses cryptographic protection, which cannot be hacked remotely. I will write you a password guessing program. Swap the elements on the save screen and use the hints on the intercom panel. Ready. You can start now. RT, I am cutting the connection. Someone is trying to intercept our signal. We must go radio silent for a few hours. You have got everything you need to crack the safe. Over. I have never cracked anything. Now I can only count on myself.
As I expected, there is no data disk inside, but it seems that I found the key that is referred to in the letter. I have to take a risk and go to a bar called The Core, where I will probably find something of use. I should go. I will not find anything else here. nailed down in this building.
this door. There is no lock in this door. Maybe the key that I found in the informant's apartment would fit here. Stairs to the basement. Why would anybody hide stairs inside a wardrobe? It is a weird place. It does not look abandoned to me. Someone was here recently. Were they humans? Apparently, they ran out of doors. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. It appears someone was sick and medical care was dispensed. I read that humans had very efficient abilities to regenerate and heal, but they heavily relied on drugs to assist in this process. food cooking station. Based on the amount of dirty dishes left behind, it appears that humans stayed here for a long time. Apparently, they ran out of doors. Why would the humans need bottled water? There is a sink in the basement, and the plumbing here works fine. The temperature level in organic residue indicates that somebody cooked food here recently. I estimate it was less than 24 hours ago. F2, I could not contact you and I moved everyone to another place. Who are you? What are you doing here? I 
am RT217NP. And you? TR2-5201. Fletcher, how did you find this place? F2 was supposed to bring us some important data, but we lost contact. He was probably exposed. I have been instructed to find the data. Is F2 arrested? How did they figure him out? How did you find out about this place? We don't know what happened to F2. I entered his apartment and read the message on the intercom. The message mentioned the core, and we supposed it was this bar. That means the police knows about this place as well. I suppose no one saw the message but me. I deleted it after reading. So we are on the same side and you help humans? How many of you are there? That is correct. There are five of us. I thought we were the only ones who know the truth. Nobody knows the whole truth. But you are not the only ones helping humans. We need to join forces. How many humans did you save? None. The humans that we were supposed to meet died in a shuttle crash during the transfer. I am sorry. We must join as soon as possible and transfer all humans into a safe place in order to avoid such accidents in the future. I agree. What should we do? F2 provided me some important information which he apparently was going to give you as well. I need to meet your leader. Is that your arrow car outside? Yes, you need to see Gregory. I can take you to our shelter. How many are in your group? Seven humans, five adults and two children. Where are they now? They are in a shelter in the city. We move constantly to avoid detection. USS found our other two shelters. But thanks to F2, we escaped before the police arrived. Do you know anything about other groups of humans? We know that there are several isolated groups. We need to contact them. Otherwise, they will be tracked down sooner or later. I saw a police officer seizing a human in a supermarket today. Fortunately, I could interfere and save him. He should bring his group in an appointed place this evening. We have to act secretly, because there are just a few robots who know the truth, and they are all wanted by the police. We must ensure their security. It is hard to hide a group of humans and supply it with whatever is required. We cannot bring them all here, because it is easy to locate a building full of humans. RT told me that F2 turned over some data to you. Can it help us? Exactly. While working with the police archives, F2 discovered information about an abandoned underground research lab. It has been shut down since the humans left. It is a perfect shelter. We could accommodate everyone there, even the ones we have yet to find. Police would not search for the place because it is outside of the city limits. Is it safe to trust the information from the police archives? Yes, it was not of interest to the USS, and has not been analyzed. F2 deleted the data after he copied it, so no one will ever know about it. That is great news. We need the coordinates, and then we can start preparing the lab for humans. There are two issues. First, the exact coordinates are unknown. Because there are jamming devices in the woods, we must first track them down and disable them. Second, we do not know what is in the lab. We must check it for safety, and then restore the power and water supply. I see. You did very well, RT. I think you can solve these problems and prepare the lab. I need you to do your best, because human lives depend on it. The task looks complicated. What can go wrong? As I said, the police will not look for the lab, but we do not know anything about its security system, so be careful. Also, the condition of the rooms is unpredictable because the lab has been closed for years. RT, use an arrow car to disable the jammers as soon as you can and take control of the lab. Fletcher and I will coordinate the transfer. We have 18 hours left. Charge yourself and go. The lab must be ready by this evening. Copy that. Heading out.
This drone has almost destroyed me. This must have been a very outdated model, because if it were a modern police drone, my chances of survival against it without any weapon would be minimal. that this device is deactivated. All that is left to do is to find and deactivate the second one. Need to return to the arrow car.
the second jamming device is deactivated. Now we can figure out the location of the laboratory. I need to contact Nick. RT, do you copy? Nick, I can hear you. After I disabled the second jammer, the communication has been re-established. That is great. You were silent for a long time. Is everything all right? Yes, it is. Despite the guide drones who tried to destroy me, their lack of mobility can probably be explained by old-fashioned technology. We didn't know about any security drones. Be careful. Can we locate the lab now? Yes, we can locate any electronics within 10 kilometers. I can see your own signal, the aero car, two jammers. Got it. A huge object to the northwest from you must be the lab. I am forwarding you the coordinates. Find a way to get inside. Copy that. I have arrived at the destination, but there is nothing here. I need to look around. He only had a plastic keycard. Maybe I can get into the laboratory with it. Hello, Nick. I seem to have found the entrance. I have a key card, but the access panel is disabled so I cannot come in. The lab has probably been de-energized after the shutdown, but there must be a way to activate the panel manually. There is a detector in your intercom which allows you to find energy hubs. Just turn it on. Try to determine where the electric channels go, and that is how you can find a way to restore the power supply. Let me try. Yes, you are correct. I can see an energy channel going underground. Thank you for the information. I need to check the branches of the energy channel.
The access panel is active now. I do not know the code, but the key card may fit here. Emergency lighting. Apparently nobody has entered this lab for years. Access granted. Access granted. Looks like the door is stuck. Better not touch it anymore. Power is not supplied. Check if the generators are working. Power is not supplied. Check if the generators are working. It is not working. Cleaning complete. A module for implant upgrades. It is suitable for humans only. Access granted.
supply is restored. Initiating boot up of the laboratory systems. Ventilation system is non-responsive. Water supply system is non-responsive. Senior engineer must access the main console for troubleshooting. are active. I need to avoid their field of view or they will destroy me. Access granted. the entire lab just to get a decent chalk bar. I mean, we only have a 15 minute break. see so many rooms at the same time.
your memory chip is compatible with the main computer of this structure. What structure? How did I get here? I tried to reboot you after the crash, but I did not succeed. Your damage was fatal. I then extracted your memory chip. We are in an abandoned underground lab. What are your intentions? Why are we here? I decided to help humans after finding out the truth about the USS. We are on the same side. Gregory assigned me to prepare this lab. It is safe and large enough to accommodate a big group of humans. That is good news. Thank you for bringing me back, even partially. Although I do not have a body anymore, I may be more helpful here. What happened to the humans in the shuttle? Unfortunately, they all died in the crash. I couldn't help them by the time I found them. That is very bad news. While trying to save them, we only did worse. This must not happen again. Gregory said the same thing. How long have you known each other? For several years. We worked together when he and Abigail were in the hospital. I used to drive an ambulance car. I see. Abe, do you have access to the lab systems? We must secure this place and we don't have much time. I have access to a few new interfaces. I will try to connect to them. Apparently, I can replace some functions of the lab's AI. Done. I can give you a report on the condition of the construction and interact with some systems. Great. Tell me about the condition of the lab. Power supply 74%. Security systems on. There is a malfunction of the air ventilation system. A manual reboot is required. RT. The air here is full of some unknown toxin and is unfit for human use. Apparently, the lab was researching it, but there was an industrial accident and humans left this place. You need to reboot the ventilation to clean the air. I cannot do it, but I marked the place where you can restart it. Apparently, the lab was researching it, but there was an industrial accident and humans left this place. You need to reboot the ventilation to clean the air. I cannot do it, but I marked the place where you can restart it. Okay, I see. The security system is another big problem. Can you disable the turrets? Let me check. Yes, I can. Done. Great. I will reboot the ventilation and return to the hospital. We can fix the other problems after the first humans arrive. All right. I will try to tune up all the systems I have access to. Access granted. Yesterday there was another accident with toxins in the laboratory chamber. Another one! 
This is the third case this month already. Your staff ignores safety instructions. Have a safety briefing, find the culprits, and do something. Otherwise, we'll have to reduce our financing. Do you know how much it does cost to hospitalize the staff? In a week's time, I want your full and detailed report of all the measures you've implemented to stop this from happening again. Access granted. Cleaning in progress. Cleaning complete. Air recirculation system is operational. Expected filtering time, 1 hour, 12 minutes. I must head off to the meeting point as soon as possible. to the hospital. I repeat, do not return to the hospital. We are urgently evacuating. Several police aero cars are approaching us right now. We managed to hijack a shuttle and Fletcher used it to pick up humans from the city depot. Go there and warn them. Somehow the police found out about our plans. I will contact you later. The message was sent half an hour ago. The police could have set a trap in the depot. I must reboot the engines to get there as soon as possible. <laughs> 